The Dead Zone first requested to me by Nalshin Upama, directed by David Cronenberg, and based on the novel of the same name from Stephen King, is a 1983 thriller film that takes place in Maine, where a man named Johnny, played by Christopher Walken, ends up with psychic powers after a bad car accident. Johnny can see the future and can even change it, but as he becomes more comfortable with his new abilities, he struggles with the moral obligation to use them. All right, so before this request came in, I honestly didn't even know The Dark Zone existed. And it's funny though, because I was watching this film and I was in like the early stages, the early parts of the film, and I started to kind of figure out what was going on and I was like, wait a minute, this movie has definitely been spoofed by South Park before. And it was that episode when Cartman tries to gain psychic powers for some reason, and he gets into that psychic battle and that whole thing happens. But honestly, it all came full circle at that point and I kind of understood where the kind of movie was going after seeing that South Park episode. So I kind of saw them out of order, but you know, you get my point. I really like The Dead Zone a lot, and it's probably one of my favorite requests that I've gotten thus far because I liked how it mixed cool sci-fi thriller aspects with complex drama also, and even romance as well, actually. And it's just a very well-balanced film overall that actually holds up quite well 30 plus years later. After finishing the movie, I was actually pretty surprised to read that it was actually released in 1983, because I probably would have guessed, honestly, that it was released sometime in the middle to late 90s based on the production value of the dialogue and so forth, and other elements, obviously technical stuff that we would judge the date of the film on, the quality of the film on. And honestly, I really only found one area where I felt like the film was just a little bit dated. And that was in the dubbing of some of the audio. There are times where the audio quality or tones rather of the audio don't quite match the live ones where the characters are actually delivering their lines. And you can just tell something's a little bit off about it. But despite that one flaw, I found this film to be riveting. And a big reason for that is because I found it to be morally complex. It takes a premise that may come across as a little cliche, a little silly, and then a man has an accident and he wakes up with psychic powers, but it sort of grounds the entire thing by mainly focusing on when and how he should use his gifts. Should he just help anyone and everyone at a cost to himself and his health? Or should he only step in when there's massive danger on the horizon? The film asks the character of Johnny to answer these questions by presenting him with moral dilemmas that will either call for him to either intervene or exclude himself from the conflict. And I like that a lot. What allows it to work though is that these are complex problems he's presented with. Should he sacrifice his health and well-being and even his safety in order to help track down a serial killer who's killing people he doesn't even know? Should he stop bad things from happening in the future if they would alter other people's destiny? These are tough moral dilemmas and I often ask myself, what would I do in this situation? And it's easy to say you would intervene because of X, Y, or Z, but I tried to be really realistic about it. And it was usually tough for me to come up with a clear answer for these questions. And that's how you know a film is morally complex. I also gotta say that Christopher Walken is excellent here. I haven't watched a lot of his older films, honestly, but I probably should because I was really impressed with what he did here. I like that he played Johnny as sort of an everyman, a good normal guy with a good heart that one day finds himself in really tough and precarious situations because of the circumstances that befell him. I think having Johnny come across as normal as he does makes the conflicts more engaging and more interesting because he feels like an everyday person. Psychic powers aside, he feels like us, and that helps the viewer jump in his shoes and try to figure out what they would do or what you would do in this unique situation. Christopher Walken really looks and plays the part of Johnny as a conflicted and complex man very, very well. He was honestly a great choice for the role. There's a character named Sarah, played by Brooke Adams, who was also really great here. And I like the performance and the character and how she just helps the viewer see a whole other side to Johnny. There's actually a romantic element to this movie and it surprisingly doesn't feel out of place like I kind of thought it would. Considering this is a Stephen King story, you'd probably think this movie is all supernatural stuff and nothing else. But that's honestly not the case. It's a big ingredient, but it's only part of the recipe. There's actually a lot more here to like that diversifies the content, which is a huge plus. So yeah, I think the characters work, the sci-fi works, the romance works too, and I think the thriller aspects work as well. This film certainly has its fair share of suspense. I think that generally speaking, it does work in conjunction with the other mixed genres pretty effectively. I wouldn't say this film is overly scary or overly tense, but there's certainly a handful of scenes that will have you on the edge of your seat. Mostly, honestly, because Johnny is so easy to connect and empathize with, despite his, you know, crazy psychic abilities. But as we wrap up, let's take a look at the pros cons. As for the pros, I thought The Dead Zone had an excellently written story with lots of morally complex themes, strong acting performances and characters, great mixing of multiple genres, and lots of engagement. As for the cons, I think the audio dubbing is the only thing here. It's still a con for me despite the fact that it may have been common practice to do so in the 80s. Either way, I'm gonna give The Dead Zone a 9.5 out of 10 and definitely recommend you check this one out if you're into Stephen King's stories being adapted and you're looking for a great older film. This one's a very nice option overall. So have you guys seen The Dead Zone? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite Stephen King adaptation. You guys know what mine is, it's it. But The Shining is honestly right there next to it. Either way, this is Wolf Foxification signing off. See you in the next review.